week, but I want to turn it upside down and, and, and make it a little, at least a, a pleasant in this. Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper passed um, in the last few days. Was that Friday, I think? We heard about that. Is, is that, I believe does so, that yes. seem about right? So, yeah. uh, cardiac cardiac arrest in his sleep, 61 years of age, mind blowing. There was actually just the week before TMZ who broke the story. Um, yes, I'm over TMZ as a news source. I'm just accepting it right now. Uh, but the, the, I mean, they, they were talking to him about the Hulk Hogan situation that we illustrated last week here on the show, and he looked great. You know, he's been in so much other stuff. He looked great, even like the, the before he the week before he died. I was watching the unfortunate pro wrestling versus zombies movie that didn't. Everybody looked like crap on that. But anyways, um, it, it just I, I it it, it, it kind of blows my mind, and especially being so close after Dusty, um, it's just I I don't know. It, it, it's not. It's not hitting as hard as a Dusty, um, because I think I'm still in kind of a shock of it. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I go around first thoughts uh, when when you heard that this happened, Mike. I know you, of course, being in in the home of uh, Piper's Pit, where the first one was up in Poughkeepsie, New York. And uh, I know you were sharing some pictures today on the Facebook. I try to pull them up here as we go. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, well, honestly, the uh, the first thing I thought of was a couple of years ago. Uh, I want to say seven years ago, I went to a Northeast wrestling show and they had um, Roddy Piper there signing. Mm -hmm. And I went with my dad and my dad, uh, he, he always went to wrestling shows with me and um, we got to talk to Roddy for a little bit. And my dad and my dad and Roddy really, really got along. Like it was, kind of scary like were, were they, they kind of a, were they kind of like the same age bracket or something they or? were the exact same age yeah mm. um and i have mentioned down here uh my dad also recently passed away around um the holidays mm -hmm. and my my dad talked to roddy and he's like he he said that it was a uh, really great getting to see like someone who my dad grew up watching a little bit of and mm -hmm how my dad was able to connect to me through pro wrestling. And Roddy was like, oh, yeah, man. that he, he was like, that's really awesome. It's really great that we can bring, like, families together. And he talked about his son, who he was bringing up through wrestling and everything. And uh, it just it just hit me really hard, like, because Roddy, he was such a good dude. Like, he was just so happy to be there, even though, like, the sword just showed the picture he wasn't in the best physical shape at that point but he was just re like he looked as excited as he did in the early piper's pits like he was full of energy he was really really mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. just he, he talked so much with everyone like we talked to him for about 15 20 minutes like it was just fantastic uh he, he was such a good guy and uh just you know really kind of hit me you know Mm -hmm. I, I actually like my first thought was like wow piper looks more excited about this picture than you are at this point <laughs> well um the funny thing the funny thing about that picture is um my dad was taking the picture he didn't know how to work the camera okay so that's about the fifth or sixth attempt okay and my dad just kept hitting the button uh -huh. and we didn't know because it wasn't a digital camera right so i didn't know if any of the pictures took so my dad just kept going and going and going, and that was <laughs> the best one that came out where both of us looked moderately happy to be in the photograph. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I got a similar sentiment. I mean, he was here when uh, 2012 with a uh, in Meadville for the IWC Superstar Show, and 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 uh, I know Missy is a big fan, and she got to work in the merchandise room, and you know, seeing him come up to fans, I got to go over and film him a little bit, and uh, we we posted the Piper's Pit actually from that event as well. And he just, I remember he was the guy that came up because, you know, when you do these shows, you know, probably much like that Northeast Wrestling, this is one of those kind of paid shows and, and it's really in the, in the end raising money for the school or the boosters or whatever the case was up there. And, and he came in and, and I think he was there the day before that morning and was doing like a, what radio can I do? And, and basically it came up to the promoter and says, uh, you know, what, let, I'll, you know, let's, I'll do everything in my power to make this a great show, basically. And uh, and it, and it's great. Uh, it, it it was just a uh, uh, one of the like authentic guys in pro wrestling. It feels at least in, you know in the dealings that we've had. And and you know we, there's been some pretty big names up there, and there's some that have not been that great. You know, 
Um, and and that's I'm really I, I you know Mike you know I think we're really fortunate to have uh, have been able to uh, be in his presence. It's amazing. So yeah, he he still had the same aura that he gave off mm-hmm. when he was like in his prime, I mean, like look, easily. I mean, he just he he just exhumed excitement for the business, like mm-hmm. he really just did. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is a crowd of, this is one of the bigger crowds, certainly for IWC, probably not as big as what you guys saw up there at Northeast Wrestling. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it, it, you know, maybe a thousand people and he's looking around and he's got an expression on his face like he's in front of WrestleMania. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's, it's just amazing. And he completely delivered. And I know uh, Jimmy Nuts, a friend of the show, that, uh, that, 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 you know, that he was I- involved in this segment here and uh he, he had a big write-up about it as well a lot of guys have encountered it um uh, one of my favorites rj city uh mm-hmm. he, i was just gonna mention him uh bobby you want to mention <laughs> that you want to you want to talk about what he was talking I, about I, I just 